My name is Shada Taravi, and I'm going to be talking today on how giving back to the WordPress community can help grow your network. Um, it's done so much for me, and it's become a huge part of my life that I'm really grateful to be able to be here today with you and talk a little bit about it. So when I was doing research on communities and thinking of ways to tell this story to you guys, I came across a quote by Audrey Hepburn. Um, it was this idea that you have two hands. One is to help yourself and one is to help others. Um, she kind of grew up in a wartime era and thought that by giving back, it was able to kind of provide some way for her to connect back to her human side. And for me, WordPress is that way for me to connect back to my human side. The community is so dynamic and and growing and it encompasses so many different people and places and countries and it's important for you guys to kind of recognize that. We're all experiencing something right here which is very intimate in a, in a conference setting but those of you watching wherever you're sitting, you're helping make WordPress what it is today. So who am I? Uh, my name is Shada. I've been using WordPress for about nine years. I've been a part of the WP Engine team for about three and a half years, and it's part of being a part of WP Engine that I've gone to over 30 WordCamps, so thank you for that nod of being WordCamp mayor. I'll have to use that for my next talk. Um, but it's by going to all those WordCamps that I've really begun to um, get to experience the many things that make WordPress so unique from the people to the places to the languages to the ideas were all so different and special and for me being able to be a part of it and tell my story is just part of telling that thread of WordPress and so I'm hoping that I can help give you some inspiration that makes you feel that you can also do do something to give back to WordPress to make it better. Um, I also feel that it's a little important to share that I was actually in a car accident two and a half weeks ago and I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to be here today, but I'm so grateful that I was able to be here and part of it really is because of WordPress. It's because of the people who are honestly sitting in this room today who mean so much to me, who rallied behind me, who sent me messages and flowers and thank you notes and I wouldn't have those people in my life if it wasn't for WordPress, if I didn't open myself up to that community and allow myself to be transformed by it. So I want you guys to think about a time when you were a child. Maybe you were like me and you grew up thinking that you could do anything and conquer everything. But as we grow up, some of those um, abilities kind of fade away and reality begins to set in and we let ourselves get caught up in in, in the no, in the blinders that we put on and we just show up every day and we come in and we sit in the same seats and we talk to the same people and we don't allow ourselves to actually embrace the reality, the present. And so just for the next you know, five to seven minutes, I hope you guys can really with me embrace the present. And I'm sure that you all walked in here with expectations. I think that's also something really important to point out. You came here expecting to meet somebody who was gonna give you a job opportunity, or maybe you were expecting to learn something new that was going to transform the way that you use and interact with WordPress. But if we can just begin to slowly, it's not easy, but slowly think of being open to strangers, being open to the power of the people sitting in the seats next to you today, maybe you'll begin to see something that you might otherwise not have seen. I'm sure some of you have seen this image before. It's of a left brain and a right brain, and sometimes we associate the left side of our brain with being more analytical and the right side of our brain with being more creative. But I think that we all bring something unique to the table. Um, whether or not you realize it or not, there is perspective in each and every one of us. And so I personally sometimes find myself very comfortable coming and going and hanging out with the same people that I'm familiar with or who think very similarly to me. And I, I don't allow myself to, to be open to the people who might be able to teach me something new. And it really has been through being open to that in the WordPress community that I've really been able to meet people who have challenged me, who have pushed me to doing something better, to being able to get up here on this stage, even though it's a little scary, and share a little bit about myself with you in the hopes that maybe it will inspire you to share a little bit about yourself with somebody new today. It's also important to note that we all started with zero knowledge of WordPress. Whether it's your first time at a WordCamp today or it's your 10th time at a WordCamp, you were once somebody new sitting in a chair at a meetup or at a WordCamp not knowing anybody and didn't you want somebody to come up to you and say hi to you and ask you what you were doing here? It's important for you to, to extend that same kindness to somebody else. So let's start thinking by what we're great at. Um, I'm really fortunate my company has a 
created opportunities for us to begin to think about who we are and what makes us tick. And so recently we did a strengths finders test. Um, and there's other things that you can do too, like Myers-Briggs. But basically, there are tests that you take that allow you to understand ways that you're wired. They give you words and ways to associate who you are and what makes you unique. And so for me, one of my skills, or one of my strengths rather, is communication. And so it's important for me to be able to take that strength in myself and be able to put it back out into the community and leverage it by standing up here and saying that you can do it too. Um, I have some friends who you know, are very analytical, and I'm very quick and fast and creative and don't want to take the time to think of all the little details and the reasons that things, <laughs> you know, uh, follow through and why they're the way that they are. But that's what makes you unique. And so whatever it is that you carry, you're special and you're important and you have to share that with the world because I'm not like you, but I have something that I can learn from you and I think that you have something that you can learn from me. So this is a fun little campy fact. 100% of the people at WordCamp US use WordPress. But I think that it's, <laughs> thank you for laughing. <laughs> the. Uh, the campiness uh, is there, but the quote remains true. You guys all have one thing in common, so whether or not you come from a different background, a different community, a different language, a different experience in life, you're all here because you all have one thing in common. It's WordPress. So the hard part is done. I challenge you guys to go up and interact with each other because you have something that you have a common interest with. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there and just say hello to somebody new today. But it gets me thinking, just because we're putting ourselves out there and we're thinking of who we are and what we can give back to the WordPress community, do we actually give back? Are we actually committing to giving back? And so I think that a big part of my talk, of course, is not only recognizing who we are and what we're great at, but what we can actually do for WordPress. WordPress is now responsible for 25% of the internet, and I'm sure that Matt's gonna share some amazing, profound new stats with us later today, but that's a really big deal. There's a lot of people who help make WordPress what it is, and you are those people, and you are impacting people whether you know it or not, and so I just challenge you to really think about that. The things that you're doing with the WordPress project, the things that you're doing at WordCamps, by volunteering, by helping out, you're helping make a difference, not only in, in your life, but in somebody else's life too. And it really, I believe, starts with you. So, I believe that if you put yourself out there, you're going to make WordPress more awesome. And I also believe that people do business with people that they know. If I have a friend who asks me about making a um, recommendation for a project in Phoenix, I'm most likely going to recommend somebody that I know in Phoenix versus just telling them to go Google somebody. So if this is something that you're looking to get more exposure for your business, it might be in your best interest to put yourself out there maybe by participating in your local meetup, giving up and giving a WordCamp talk, um, just by being friendly to those that you're meeting around you in the community because those are the people who are going to remember you, who are going to want to interact with you, who are going to want to show up to your talk at 9, 10 in the morning, whether or not, you know, they really wanted to be here, but I appreciate everybody who is anyways. <laughs> so don't just show up and do the same thing. Show up and try to make a difference every day of your life. You're going to improve the platform, not only for yourself, but for others. You're going to make it better for you and for me. For me, the really magical part that I'm about to share with you, this is just a few of some of my friends in the WordPress community. I can't even put a number on it because it's just, it's overwhelming. I mean, I literally have people who I couldn't imagine my life today without because of WordPress, because I said hello to them, because I responded to a tweet, because I showed up to a meetup when I was really nervous and didn't really know what WordPress was and was just looking for a way to get involved and be a part of something a little bit bigger than myself. These are friends from teachers to WordPress core contributors um, from Seattle to San Francisco to New Jersey, and they're all the people who inspire me every day of my life to continue being a part of this community. They're the ones pushing me to do better, to do more, to get up here again and to give a WordCamp talk. And so I challenge you guys to go out today. There's actually a booth. Um, it's a Get Involved booth, and it's going to cover there's people there who are manning the booth who can talk to you about all these different things, but these are the ways in which you can help begin to give back to the WordPress project. Whether you're a designer, a developer, you build plugins or themes, you're a communicator like me and you feel comp compelled to give up and give a WordCamp talk, there's people who can talk to you about it more, but if you're curious, you can also go to make.wordpress.org. And I think a fun quote that I found from Christopher Reeve is, success is finding satisfaction in giving a little more than you take. And I really believe that it, it's true. So what if you said hi to a stranger today? What do you think they're going to do to you? They're going to say hi back. 
So I'm going to leave you with three simple rules for life. It's not easy. It's something that I have to constantly urge myself to to be disciplined in taking care of and paying attention to. But one, if you do not go after what you want, you will never have it. Two, if you do not ask, the answer will always be no. And three, if you do not step forward, you will always be in the same place. So real generosity towards the future lies in giving it all to the present. Thank you. I'm Shada Tarabi.